Welcome back to Movies TV Mad. Of course, you can follow me on Twitter at Movies TV Mad. And welcome to today's edition of the Doctor Who Daily. And to be a more accurate Friday's edition of the Doctor Who Daily. We didn't want him to go. He didn't want to go. And it looks like from what I am seeing, and I can't say this is definite, that David Tennant will reprise his role as the Doctor in 2023. Now, is David Tennant returning to appear in the 60th anniversary, or is he going to be Russell T Davies' Doctor again? Now, we discussed this a little bit, and I think we'll go a little bit deeper with this. So a lot of you will say, but this smacks of desperation and unoriginality. Yes, that's the position Chris Chibnall and Stephen Moffat in his later seasons put Doctor Who in. The BBC and Russell walking away, right, after creating something so special, walking away and at least not taking, a, you know, a godfather role above everyone, which is what he should have done, and I've discussed that many times before. So everyone's to blame here. So Doctor Who needs lifting up. And when you're in trouble, you bring back a familiar face, whether it's entertainment, whether it's football, something. You need something to perk up the locals, right? And David Tennant is that thing, that actor, that version of the Doctor that everyone loved. Now, again, yesterday, I tried to kind of give you my theory how he can how he can come back. But we'll get into that a little bit deeper. We know there's a human metacrisis doctor who, the real doctor, left a TARDIS to grow for this doctor. This was actually cut. Yes, yeah, so if you didn't know that, and I think I don't, I mean, it, this is something that I've heard about so many times, is that actually David Tennant's official doctor left him whatever it was so he could grow his own TARDIS. Now, that doesn't mean he can leave this parallel universe. It does mean he can travel around space and different planets with Rose Tyler and with the other, and with P and Jackie and everybody else, you know, in that parallel well, in that parallel universe. But he can't cross universes. So we get that clear. So this character, so this character basically by now should have grown his own TARDIS, or maybe when we meet him, if we do meet him, remember this is just a theory, you know, his TARDIS is just about ready after all these years. So it takes years for a TARDIS to grow, something Tennant's Doctor explained in one of his episodes. So this is something we never saw, but they can show us that. They can actually show us that scene because it's been shot. They can clean the scene up and we can see it if that's what's going to happen. So there is a, you know, there is a human metacrisis doctor. The human metacrisis happened with Donna, and this is what happened with the, this is the Dr. Donna revolution, the thing that RTD was teasing for the entirety, really, of season four. And it happened. So on Bad Wolf Bay, on a parallel universe, the human metacrisis doctor and Rose are still together. And that is the universe that we could get. So then we have to talk about Doctor Who Flux a little bit. An episode I still haven't been able to see. I've spoken to Amazon Video and they said I'm going to have to wait until it's released on there even though I paid for a TV pass. Never mind. I know what happened in the episode. And so she, the Doctor, talks to another version of herself, which is actually time, I think. And she says, your, regen your regenerations won't last forever. Now, this is very interesting. Why would Chibnall write that? Because the Doctor now has a new regeneration cycle since, um, since Matt Smith's final episode, right? Do you remember that? So he's got a brand new regeneration cycle. That's 13, I think, regenerations. And so we've had Capaldi and now Jodie Whittaker. So that's only two. This would hint to that the Doctor somehow, for some reason, is going to be going through multiple regenerations. I still predict her final two episodes will be a two-parter, and this is going to be a huge event. Hopefully, because it's all flattered to deceive within the Chibnall era anyway. But fingers crossed that Jodie goes out with a bang. 
So what could happen is she could use all her regenerations. This could be the final story for the Doctor and character we've been seeing since 1963. No Doctor. No more Doctor. Either that or this universe is gone and we have to head to this parallel universe to focus on this Doctor. Either way, either the, our main Doctor goes missing or the Doctor uses all of her regenerations or all of her regenerations but one. If the Doctor is to regenerate, then maybe the Doctor has one more left after using all these regenerations. So maybe RTD's Doctor won't have any more regenerations. Interesting how that happens. So I think we're heading for this because why mention it? Why mention it in The Vanquishers that her regenerations won't last forever? Because he can't be foreshadowing what's going to happen in the RTD era, can he? Can he? Maybe he can. Maybe Chibnall will have some involvement. He had some involvement in the original RTD era. Why not? If RTD is policing him, maybe we can get something good from him. Anyway, that's just tittle-tattle. Well, all of this is tittle-tattle. But it is looking like the Doctor will use up all her regenerations. And so, as I say, if there's no Doctor anymore, then we have to head to the only Doctor we know the human metacrisis doctor which i think will be very fascinating now yes i know it's to bring tenant back i think tenant would come back i think tenant would come back just like that he'd be happy to work with rtd again with the old team under the protection of bad wolf productions as well it would suit Tennant down to the ground. I don't think there's any reality that David Tennant has any doubts about coming back full time. But in fact, he could just come back for the special. Or maybe there's specials for the 60th anniversary. If anyone's going to do the 60th birthday of the Doctor Justice, it's going to be Russell T Davies. So hold on to your skirts, boys and girls. So he could come back for one story or he could be coming back full time. One way, one way or the other, David Tennant will play the Doctor again. Whether the version, the, his version that we remember in three seasons, or the human metacrisis Doctor. It seems to me something is going on with this Chibnall era. Hinting about regenerations running out. Hinting about the Master having an army of people that the Doctor's done wrong. Enemies rising against her led by some master or whatever whatever the dialogue was so those two pieces of dialogue said to the doctor by time or the other version of the doctor or whatever however you want to see it that means this is going to happen she's going to run out of regenerations so this is very very interesting now has this version is this iteration not jody's iteration but the doctor we've known since william hartnell is this doctor actually going to be killed off it would be an outrageous thing to do which means you'd go to a parallel universe with the human metacrisis doctor and i suppose uh, we, we'd hope that that doctor finds a way of being able to regenerate which would be devastating for this doctor because one of the perks of rose being with this doctor is that he's half human and he can't regenerate so this would be a big story, and this is the kind of thing Russell would love to tap into. The depth of Russell T. Davies. The big difference between RTD and Chibnall is, I remember RTD saying on Doctor Who Confidential, you know, depth and character development is food and drink to actors. Talking about David Tennant's performance in an episode of Doctor Who. That's how Russell sees it. Chris Chibnall is too lazy to see it that way. So I definitely think something is going on here. You know, your, your regenerations won't last forever. She's going to use up all her regenerations somehow. I don't know how this works. The master's obviously planning something. That dastardly deeds, that dastardly evil man, you know. But I, I love Sasha Dewan's master, by the way. And uh, really, Doctor Who Flux could have done with him. And people saying... Not the master again, not the master again. He's the greatest fucking villain in Doctor Who history. Have him front and center. I couldn't give a shit. He's awesome. But anyway, he'll show up in the two-parter, 
which will be the second and third episodes of these specials we're going to see next year. They will be Jodie's final kind of bow as the Doctor. So yeah, I expect her to use her regenerations up. And what happens to Doctor Who after that is very interesting. Because I think we are heading for something so new, so ambitious. And hey, yes, I would welcome the full-time return of David Tennant. This has been the Doctor Who Daily. I'm Mick, your host with the most. Just ask your girlfriends and your wives. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you never miss this perfection. And I'll see you again tomorrow with even more Doctor Who Daily. Until then, goodbye. Auf Wiedersehen.